Teofimo Lopez, man, he's still at it, man. He won't let it go. He won't live down this loss against this loss to George Cambosos. He's now saying the zone set him up to lose the belts because they know that they was, he was going to dump the belts and move up, making it harder for uh, Devin Haney to become undisputed. Like, that makes absolutely no sense. And then he said, fuck both of them, man. He's like, the, he's like he he thinks pretty much it's, it's set up. Everything everything is staged. And he thinks it ain't going to be hard for Devin to win in Australia because it's already set in stone for Devin to win. I don't know what this motherfucker talking about, man. Because actually, the odds is against Devin. Um, actually, the odds is against him, bro. And he went and signed something that many people probably would not never sign, you know. And he's going to have to go out there and fight his ass off to win those belts off of George Camboso. So, T.O., man, it's clear. And then, like, when he walked away on the interview, on the Fight Hub interview, man, you could see it was like a lost kid almost, man. Like, he just, just walked away. He just, he just wasn't able to take that loss, man. He can't take defeat. So then you start questioning, man, Tiafimo, you know, moving forward from here. Um, did, you know, this this fight with George Camboso, did it take a lot out of him mentally? Because he's been saying, I, I've been reading reports of him talking about, like, kind of like suicidal and shit like that. And I'm like, dude, this over boxing? Man, come on, man. You lose something, you win something. You regroup, restructure, come back hard. You know, that's it. That's one loss, bro. He got one loss on his record. You can come back from that, you know? Can he? I don't know. It might, I might. I. I don't know. Um, he seems like he's mentally out of it, man. So that's the issue. Physically, he could more than likely he come back from it. Mentally is the problem. That's where they said a lot of things with boxing is not all physical. Most of it is mental, man. If you if your mental ain't there, you can't perform physically. Real shit. That's real talk. And and in that fight. I mean, he pulled a lot out of him. I will give him. I will give him his respect. He didn't lay down. He went. He fought his ass off in that fight. He, he lost. He got his ass whooped, but he still fought though. So I give Tiafimo Lopez that respect. He still went there and fought. That was a good ass fight, man. It was a lot of back and forth. So he should at least look at it like that. Like, bro, I, I went in there and fought my ass off after the knockdown. I was never visibly wobbled like that. I went in there and I hurt him. I I, I knocked him down still. I gave him my everything. That's all he got to do. He went in there. He fought back. He fought. He was game. He was a game dog in that fight. He didn't lay down. He didn't back up. You know, so he don't realize that. See, to him, though, the win is more important than anything. But to me, if I lose a fight, I still win morally because I gave, I, I put my all into this motherfucker. That's how I look at, um, cause, so that when you look at things in that sense, you, you, you're never a loser. You'll never lose. As long as you fought the battle, you'll never lose it. But Tiafimo Lopez got people in this corner that's, you know, lying to him and, and, and telling him all this other stuff. That's what you're going to start thinking, that winning is everything. Everything is winning. Winning. It's, there's different ways to look at winning, bro. You know, you can do a relay race, come in second place. I, I was, I mean, when I was in school, I did I did a relay race and I came in second place. I got a medal, a second place medal, and the, the the other kid he had a first place. I felt like I still won. I'm still a winner. I was second place. I know we strive to be great though. We want to be first. We always want to be on top. But sometimes that's not the way life is, man. And you can't beat yourself up when your expectations is fucking not met all the time. Go back and try again. Like, I could win back and race again. Next race, I could be first place. You know, work on what I did wrong or work on my flaws so I could try to elevate to when I do it again. This time, possibly I can be first. You know, but it's sad, man, when um, you go through life like that. That's why I said I don't know if Tiafimo Lopez is going to really, if he's going to resonate, if he's going to really shine anymore because, um, if you got that mentality, man, every time you lose a fight or something like that, you it's gonna take him it's gonna take more and more out of you. So he going up to 140, man. There's some there's some big boys up there. You know, you got Regis Pro Gray. Um, you got a lot of skilled dudes. You got Montana Love up there, you got Gary Antoine Russell. 
um, there's a lot of cats up there not to be played with, man. So, um, what's he gonna do when he fight these cats, man? You got was it Cepeda up there? Um, Jose Ramirez, Josh Taylor is, is about to more than likely leave. But you know, come on, man. So if his head ain't straight at 135, you think it's gonna be straight at 140? Man? It's gonna probably be even worse for him up there. But anyway, let me know what you think about Tiafimo Lopez recent. Um, you know, you can call it a rant or whatever you want to call it, his recent rant regarding uh, him losing to George Cambosos and the zone setting him up to lose his belt. Drop a comment, like, and subscribe. This is Rebel Life Boxing. I'll catch y'all later on the next one, and I'm out.